What's poppin' YouTube family and friends and ladies and gents? It's your boy Dwight. Welcome back to the channel, Silverback Siage, where fragrance will be in the air today. But uh, please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe on today's content. And uh, today I'm super excited to bring a fragrance to the table that's been getting raved about in the fragrance community. Perfect for the summer. If you want to find out exactly what fragrance that is, keep it locked right here. Let's jump right off into it. We're here today with Dosi and Gabbana, Light Blue Forever, their newest release. First of all, it comes with a gift sleeve on it that uh, holds on to it pretty tight. I bought this one from Dillard's. One sixteen is what it costs for the gift set. This is your gift set box presentation. Another good look at it. On the back, basic product information. There's a 100 ml bottle in there. There's a travel size bottle in there and there's a nice aftershave bomb in there. Here's a better look. Okay. First, let's look at the travel spray that they give you. Sit that in there. Aftershave. And let's get off into the bottle presentation. Don't say about a light blue forever teal bottle golden teal top batch code information on the bottom let's give her a spray and get off into the notes good atomizer on there Woo! let's get off into it top notes you got grapefruit bergamot mid notes you got ozonic notes violet leaf base notes you have vetiver oil white must and patchouli now from the very beginning the dominant note that you smell is grapefruit it fills the room so that right off the bat tells me that the grapefruit is a superstar within this fragrance and probably lasts a long time because of the strength that I'm getting off skin. Now, this has to be the most impressive and strong grapefruit note that I've ever smelled in any fragrance ever in my entire life. There's lots of fresh, ozonic, aquatic fragrances that carry a grapefruit note, but none as strong as this. Now, I haven't spent much time with it as far as being able to smell the dry down, but I'm assuming that maybe that must and patchouli in the base notes come in toward the end of the fragrance. But right now, that grapefruit reigns supreme. Now, it's a very acquired or a, uh, a scent that you have to like. If you don't like grapefruit in fragrances where it's kind of mild, it being this strong, you may not like it. Me personally, I like this grapefruit note because it's unique, different. I've never smelled it in no other fragrance, at least to this level. So I'm interested to get a chance to spend some time with this fragrance and see where the mid to the dry down goes with it. But I will say this is definitely one that you need to get your nose on for the summer. But overall, can't really give it a rating. Got to spend a little bit more time with it. But it's your boy Dwight. Please like, comment, and subscribe like I said before. And if you've never smelled this before, go in your local Macy's or Dillard's. Put your nose on it. Let me know what you think. Peace.